How you doing guys? Um, I want to make a video about something that's very important and um, it's a video I call The Age of Adam because the issue I want to address is the fact that um, amongst Christianity there's uh, dissension according to doctrine over to what the days in Genesis mean. Are they seven literal days? Are they 7,000 years because the Bible says a day of the Lord is a thousand years? Or are they seven um, ages or great periods of time like some people believe. So this video um, brings the conclusive proof that they are seven uh, literal 24 hour days. Um, and what, how, the, how I'm going to throw out the other two theories is this, right? Well first of all some people think the day of the Lord is a thousand years so Genesis stands for six or seven thousand years and that, that, account, that lines up Christianity more with um, with what uh, archaeologists have found about the older civilizations because they've found civilizations 10,000 years old or whatever. Then you've got Christians who believe in evolution. So they say the days in Genesis stand for great expanses of time, time periods like eons and you know, up to millions of years, whatever. Um, lots, there's, there's a big movement in Christianity that believes that stuff. But, um, and I've seen people debating it. It's so frustrating because I want to tell you guys what the Lord showed me once, which, which cuts through the issue conclusively. And that's what I want to get this, this revelation out that he showed me, which is um, I was driving along one day a couple of years ago. I wasn't even thinking about this whole issue of, of, of old earth, young earth, whatever. And um, I was just driving along listening to the radio, and the Lord zapped into my mind the words, the age of Adam. Okay? And my eyes went wide like this, and I went, the age of Adam. And it hit me. And what hit me was this. Adam was created on the sixth day. The Bible gives the age Adam died at, which is 930 years. Therefore, the days in Genesis can't be a thousand year periods. Because if Adam was created on the sixth day, then he would have to be over a thousand years old by the end of the seventh day. But because he died at age 930, that is conclusive proof that the days in Genesis cannot be... Um, they can't even be, uh, can't be, certainly can't be millions of years, they can't be eons, they can't even be thousands of years because Adam died at less than a thousand years old and he was created on the sixth day. Whereas if the days were thousand year periods, then he would have to be older than a thousand years. So once you grasp that revelation, it, it cuts through everything. I've seen people debate this issue back and forth over the Hebrew meaning for the word day and, and what a morning and an evening is and stuff. And, and if only they understood this, the, the debate would be over in a second. So... Get the message out. Debates, this debate is raging on Christian forums, on, on the internet. It's all over the place. And I want Christians to know that the age of Adam conclusively proves that the Bible teaches a young earth, literal days in Genesis. And that's good news. Thanks.